Savino. 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 Yes. It was about this time last year that me and my beautiful wife, Jolie, decided to visit her father in northern Wisconsin. She retired there and he lives on a lake. And for those of you who have been in that part of the country, it's mainly wilderness, farms, and a few farming communities. So it's a great place to get away. And we usually do some fishing. Now, we had a successful day of fishing. I caught the most fish in the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not the point of my story. This would change my life forever. We had just settled down into the cabin for the night. We're watching some TV and talking about the day's events. When we heard this, ah and bang against the cabin. Now, it didn't really startle us that much because we have seen every kind of wildlife. It's not uncommon to see deer. We've seen bear and their cubs. They'll come and look for the wild raspberries right outside of the cabin. And we've seen turkey. So it could have been a variety of wildlife and maybe an eagle or something landing on top of the cabin. So we settled back down and we're talking when we heard it again. And this time it sounded a little bit more like a voice, like, are you home? And bang. <laughs> <laughs> so, we jumped up. We went to the window, and it was one of those moonless nights, overcast. You could not really tell anything other than a few feet in front of you. It was so dark. Now you're looking at me, and you're going, man, you look like Bear Giles. You look like a Survivor man. We <laughs> <laughs> were so much of Survivor man. I'm staying in a hotel this week. <laughs> but, last morning, we jumped up, grabbed a rifle with my father-in-law, Grabbed the flashlight, and out we go. So we went out, and we got about 20 yards into the woods, and we realized we made a tremendous mistake. Because whatever was coming, was coming at us fast. <laughs> and being so dark, the only time we'd ever get a shot off or be able to defend ourselves, it was going to be right on top of us. So what did we do? As all brave men do, we turned and ran. <laughs> <laughs> we would have been all right at that point, except I tripped. And as I tripped, I fell over, and as I looked up, I saw the biggest, most ominous shadow over me. And I saw the claw come towards my face. And that's all I remember, because I blacked out. Now, I have no idea how long I was out. Absolutely not. But I woke up, and I was in the cabin. But I was a little confused, because it wasn't her father's cabin. <laughs> and I was on the biggest couch I'd ever been on. <laughs> and I heard out of the corner of my voice someone say, Hey, I think he's up, Roger. And with that, the biggest, largest, hairiest hand I'd ever seen in my life engulfed my hand and said, Hi, I am Roger, and this is my beautiful wife, Mary. Now, I couldn't utter anything other than your big voice. <laughs> and all he said was, look, that's a derogatory name. <laughs> and Mary chirped in, what woman likes to be called Bigfoot? If you like us calling Chris, no hair. I'm Roger, and this is Mary, and you know, we're just regular folks, and we're trying to live a good life. And you're probably wondering why we brought you here. Well, we observed you, and we wanted to get all the myths, you know, debunked out there about us. I mean, every time me and Mary turn on the TV show, TV, there's a new TV show about finding us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're just average people. And he chuckled, and he said, and there's no such thing as the abominable snowman. That's us in our winter garb. <laughs> <laughs> winter garb. And my... My, you know, our Uncle George goes hiking in the Himalayas, and we have a yin. We're the same. We're a family. We've spread out. And that's kind of, you know, how it's all happened. And we want you to go back and, you know, try to get these myths out. So I was, you know, a little, I was amazed. And I said, well, you know, my wife and my father-in-law are going to be extremely 
you know, but maybe you could come to a Toastmaster meeting sometime. So I, I'll have to talk to Art about that, but he's going <laughs> to And uh, I rushed back um, to our cabin. And as I got to the cabin, I told, you know, they were a little skeptical. But here's my point. Chris, you asked the question, Bigfoot is real. I bet. But if you meet him, and you may meet him on a trail someday, <laughs> and if you do, don't call him Bigfoot. Just reach out your hand and introduce yourself in the Toastmaster way we all learn, and you might be surprised at the response. <laughs>